What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Witness Wednesdays. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, I was bound and determined to finish our first obelisk where we're only missing one puzzle. Just one. One little puzzle. And I have racked my brain all over the place. I've looked in the clouds. Everybody kept saying it's not in the clouds. Leave the clouds alone. Let the cloud go. Um, <laughs> I was so sure about that, too. And I got a couple of conflicting ones. Uh, I got a couple of comments that really helped kind of guide me. I was really hung up on this for the longest time because one of the comments, I don't have the quote in front of me, but it basically said, somewhere in the sand, uh, probably the desert temple, question mark, and you have to see yourself. Now, see yourself is a little bit ambiguous. It could be a shadow. It could be a reflection, whatever. So I walked over here and I'm like, oh! What is this? Why is there flowers right here in the middle? This is curious. This is suspicious. <gasps> I can see myself. <gasps> We're in the sand. By the this must be it. And yeah, no, that's that's not it at all. Um, <laughs> I spent forever staring at that, trying to figure out a way that worked. Um, I also had another comment that mentioned these stairs by what they called the Mirage Rock because I kept thinking there was a... a uh, puzzle right here in this crevice and they were like it's not this but you're standing on it and I was like oh you know what they're getting confused with this one I already did this one blah 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 blah, 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 blah. so I kept moving around I couldn't find anything tried sand tried reflections in sand I was going nuts and I was like maybe go back and look at older episodes maybe somebody has commented in the meantime on older episodes and has given me a more clear direction. I, I mean, I get that people aren't trying to give it away, so I'm not faulting anybody for not being like, go here, do this. I, I get that. Um, it was just like, man, I need some more information. And the same person that mentioned to stand on the stairs I found on a previous episode had mentioned um, uh, kind of like walk out, walk the shoreline kind of thing, and you might get, get surprised. And so I was doing this, and I'm like, wait, the other person said it was in the sand. Reflection would be in the water, okay, get that, or shadow, wouldn't really matter, I mean, you're, you're still going to see yourself, and I'm like, okay, so this is all adding up, blah, 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 and I'm like, where, and then I saw that, I don't know if you saw it or not, but this, it's just too perfect of a curve, and then I saw that, and I was like, wait a minute, so I came up here, the previous analogy of standing on the thing, Wait a minute. What is that? What might that be? <gasps> a perfect circle that once you see it cannot be unseen. Boom. First obelisk done. I think. Yep, it turned a color. Oh, we gotta get over there. This game, man. I, I cannot get over how no matter how far I've come in this game, it just always seems to keep surprising me. It just never backs off. It's always got more secrets to find. It's crazy. I've already platinumed the game, so technically I'm done. But there's still so much more to do. And it's a puzzle game. It's not even an RPG. So they turn white when they're done. That's really, really cool. All right. So huge success. I'm so super excited and I just can't hide it. Actually, I could. I don't really want to though, um, because look at that beautiful, a beautiful imagery of a white obelisk. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's so pretty. Okay, so one of the next things I want to do is kind of go back to this lake here for a second and see if I can figure out... Okay, so the fountains are the obelisks because that one's now way up here. So if, I, if my memory serves, the lights are the lasers, the... Flowers are the audio recordings, I think. And the clams are those hidden locked puzzles for the hexagonal puzzles, I think. 
So actually, we could probably check in here and see if I've got them all. Because I think I do. I think I I think I've unlocked them all. There's four that I'm seeing. But I'm pretty sure that the uh, I'm pretty sure that I have them. I haven't used them all. I haven't used all the hex puzzles because I haven't listened to all of the dialogue and stuff in that room. I think I've done three of them. But as far as unlocking them, I'm pretty sure I opened them all. I just never used them, I think. So I'm trying to kind of see if we can find a clam that isn't open, and that would kind of confirm that I still had one to do. There's one right there. All right, so I am still missing a locked puzzle somewhere. Probably over that way, because I think these are supposed to be pretty accurate to the positions of the actual stuff. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So there should be one last clam that should be opened, if I'm right. Uh, where'd it go? I know there's one around here somewhere. Isn't there? Maybe? No, I know there's one. Maybe. Kinda. I can't find it. Possibly. Oh, there it is. That's one, two... I feel like that's... I feel like I'm recounting them. Three, four... Hmm. Did I miss one? Two, three, four, five, oh, five, six. Okay, so I'm missing one of those puzzles. Um, obviously, we have more audio recordings. The lanterns should be the laser boxes, so we're good on those. And the fountain should be the obelisk. So it looks like we've only done one of those, which is accurate. So from that one, there should be one up this way, so more towards the front of the island. Should be one towards the back, another one back there, another one over there, and that should be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think there are six obelisks, I'm pretty sure. But uh, this one over here does have me a little peaked at the moment, this clam. Because um, I thought I had opened them all, but I only have screenshots in my files of two. So I thought maybe I just forgot to do one, but I'm thinking not so much. And this is cleverly done. I figured it out. I figured it out. Na, 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 na. Okay, so this is the boat. Because it looks like a chunk of rust. Bam! Boat. It's the boat. I am awesome at this game. Not really. Um, I'm just persistent. I'm not really awesome. <laughs> and I have to admit... Um, I can't really sit here and just be like, I am awesome, I've unlocked all of these puzzles. I mean, for the most part, I have unlocked the puzzles, but there's a lot of times where your comments and things like that really helped, um, helped me identify what exactly I was supposed to be doing or a uh, concept. I mean, like, without you guys' comments, I probably would have still been looking at that cloud, for example. Um, so that's a pretty good indicator of how... It's not all me solving this stuff. I think together we're making a pretty good team, and we are going to be pretty darn close to solving every puzzle. This, there's got to be an environmental puzzle in there somewhere in that mess of something. There's just got to be. <laughs> there's just got to be one in there somewhere. Oh, man. Uh, yep. I see you. I see you, if I can line you up right. Oh, come on. I know that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe I have to be in the boat? Or I have to be up higher to close the distance. Maybe if it wasn't for that tree. Wait a minute. Oh, do I have to be even higher? 
Because I just noticed that the two beams that I was looking at kind of connect. If you were at a really high distance, maybe? Ooh, this is a tricky one. There's something going on. I don't think you could see it from up there. Maybe you could. I, I don't really know. I don't think you could. Anyways. So we're on to like a whole nother set of problems over here. Because we haven't really done a whole lot in this area, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. This has probably got to be done by boat. I'm thinking. Or I just had to stand in a really certain spot. No, that's not working, though. It seems like it should... But it's just not quite doing it. Come on, that's so plainly obvious. Hmm. And if I did it like this... Oh, really? Now you're gonna work? What? Hold up. What? Okay, how do I get something else in front of it that's orange? There's gotta be... I mean, I'm kind of like right on the perfect spot. So there's gotta be some kind of metal strip that I'm missing somewhere. Hmm... I do think that... Do oh, you know what? I bet you have to do this from the boat as you're going this way. So that it'll line up with that. And you can click it as you're going by. And then when it connects to that, you can run it along. That's the only thing I can think of that would make that work. But I was right there. I mean, like, it was making a little pulse sound. So I'm not really sure about that one. And there's got to be a whole mess of puzzles in this. In this heap. I've even seen a few of them, like, the form already. I see, t I see two. I just don't know exactly where you'd have to be coming at it from. Like, whether you'd have to go by boat or... Because some of these I've seen, when you finally see them, it's like as the boat's moving and you have to keep going with them. They're not really, like, stationary puzzles. Uh, which is really tricky, by the way. That's definitely not something you would expect. Oh, you know what? I know where this locked clam is. It's... yep. Alright. Hmm. So, low... So, low... Or, hit, hit low maybe? High, high, low? This one was... Yeah, that's low, I think. Okay. I think that's this. Uh. Oops. Oh, oh, it's one of the invisible ones. Crap. Crap. All right. Um Oh, that's bad. So if I do like this, and then come back, be two up. Uh, I don't know what these black ones are, though. We're gonna run into each other there. 
Oh, and I took the wrong one. So I need Dang it, man. I gotta figure out Alright, give me a minute. Okay, so here's what I've come up ah, poo, that didn't work. So what I was thinking there was you'd come up this way, go this way, um have this line go through up come back down and around kind of thing. And I thought that's what I did. Let me see here. So that puts it up. You got one line. Yeah, so that should be like that. And then if I cross this over, I should now be right on the orange dot. And this brings it back down. And this brings it back down. Right? I think. Now I wonder if I did this from this point of view, if it would work or not. Oh wait, I have to do it like this. No. Huh. Especially since they're not giving me a color here, I'm not really sure what to make of the lines. Hmm. That's another interesting dilemma. Hmm. I'm betting you this... Oh, because this is a door. Right here. So this has got to open to the the box that we're looking for. Man, this is a tough one though cuz the there's two big things going on here. I think I have the sounds down to these are the wines the one and I think that's that one. And then the one that comes after that is that one. Which is somewhere around here. Maybe. Come on. Nothing? Okay. Um, there. I feel like that's that one. Now, the interesting part is the black and the pinkish color kind of have the same thing. They have like a middle, a middle one or a medium one and a, a high one. But I don't really know which one's which. Like... I don't know if I should be going after the black one, the pink one, or what. The dripping, I think, is the orange, and I think the big splash is the middle guy here, and the other two are the little ones. Like, let me see if I can get him to do another one. That, like, bloom, and then bling, bling, kind of thing. Um, <gasps> wait a minute. Unless the... Unless the color of the black one is basically just a mystery. Huh. I really think these are the drips, these are the wines, but I don't know what the black sounds are. Unless they're just supposed to be... Dots. Oh. Wait a minute. I just realized these aren't actually the same distance away from each other. So if I come up and did this, have this one come back. Oh, well, you'd still have to wrap it around. Maybe it's the order in which I'm doing things, like this has to go through that one first. Okay, now here's an interesting situation. What's this put me at? Two up. 
And it's going to do whatever I don't. So I need it to go like this. Which means this is doing the same thing down at the bottom. Oh, I'm running into it. Dang it. I don't know how to get the pink one while also trying to get the orange one. Unless I'm doing the orange one in the wrong order. Which I suppose I could see happening. No, that's not gonna work. So, this one's doing that. If I bring this up like this... Can't do it that way. Um, let's have it come... Oh, can't do that. So, yeah, I'm really perplexed on this one. Uh, mainly because I'm not sure I'm even working with all the right sounds or in the right order. I'm also not 100% positive of my theories of the sounds. Wait a minute, that's a new one. Where's that coming from? That's interesting. Too sure what to make of all that. To be quite honest. Interesting. I wonder, oh my, I wonder if it's actually the legitimate order. Huh. Like... hitting myself. That doesn't make sense. I hate these middle ones where it's like you can't get to the middle because you know, it's doing its own thing. Nope, that didn't work. I wonder if I had done it this way. this way. I don't 
think I'll ever be able to get over there because I'm already overlapping it. <sighs> this is very difficult. Especially when I don't know what the black ones are. I can't hear a third kind of sound. I just hear the the, the gong and the higher one and then the three dripping. I don't hear a third sound, so I'm not really sure what to make of that one. Um, I mean, I think we're actually pretty close to having all the pieces to that puzzle. I just don't know how they all fit together. Um... So yeah, that's definitely the locked room, though. If I can open that room, then that will be the last clam. I can all but guarantee that. Oh, and this is what I was meaning about the cloud in one of my other episodes when I had mentioned it kind of straightened out. That gray cloud kind of, well, straightens out at certain points, depending on where you are. I don't see anything crazy that stands out to me. I did see three or four of the environmental ones when I was on the boat to and from this area. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of them right now. So I'm guessing most of them have to be done by boat. Which is kind of taxing and annoying. I already listened to that. Hmm. So, yeah, I think we're going to end up wrapping this episode up here. I didn't really get a whole lot done, did I? My bad. Well, we did solve the obelisk one, at least, and we're working on this one. So, let me know what your thoughts and ideas and things are for that puzzle. And in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!